hi guys welcome back to my channel this is jamila and we're here for another weekly wax melting basket and y'all so i was sick again so i did not get to film this is basically two weeks of wax if that makes sense i filmed my last weekly wax melting basket and then the following week i could not film it I was ahead on wax melting basket videos. So, anywho, um, that's why I haven't missed one this year. But um, basically, I had to pull wax without showing you guys because I had laryngitis and you would not be able to hear me talk. So, we have this much wax to go through. We have two weeks of wax. Um, so, yes. Half of it is, of course, from the last melting basket that I pulled. And then the other half is stuff that I pulled without making a video because I could not speak. But anyway, we're just going to hop right in. I'm probably rambling, but you guys know how it is. So we're going to hop right in and hopefully I remember everything. So first we have from Fantasy Wax Melts. Reagan's favorite is Lemon Pound Cake. And you guys know, if you know, you know. This is one of my absolute favorite scents from Fantasy Wax Melts. Oh, that Lemon Bakery Pound Cake is just amazing. It always throws so well. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a core center in the shop. So, yes, you can pick it up anytime. Next, we have Reagan's Fave. That is Reagan's favorite. Um, again, for like her next birthday after that, it's called Cotton Candy. And for me, cotton candy scents, if they're just plain cotton candy, they don't really throw well for me. And that's the same, but I'm just trying to get through the ones that I have. So it just, it's blah. I wouldn't pick it up again. Um, next, we have blueberries and cream, strawberries, zucchini bread from that smell good shop. Oh my goodness, you guys. It smells so good. And I'm not much of a berry person, but oh, this was a customer blend that someone had made. And I was able to snack the rest of it. So, yes, it smells so, so good. I would definitely purchase this again. Next from um, the pharmacist's daughter, we have cotton candy, which is decadence, which is cotton candy, vanilla, buttercream, mango, sorbet, marshmallow, sugar, waffle cone. I believe I noted this. Like the first week. I remember this being good, but I think I've melted this before. It's, I think it's like smells like very like with the vanilla buttercream, like and marshmallow note sweet. But then you get a hint of that mango. So it's really, really nice. I would definitely pick this up again. From, oh, we have from the pharmacist's daughter we have nana's hawaiian pudding which is pie crust vanilla lemon coconut marshmallow cherries whipped cream sweet and creamy and this one did not wow me or anything it was okay the the um smell was okay and the um throw was moderate so mm, i don't know if i'll pick it up again it was just nothing special i didn't get any like hawaiian beach vibes from it next we have uh, from that smell good shop we have cashmere wood strawberry musk warm vanilla sugar and i actually melted this in the bathroom because of that um i think the musk and the cashmere woods it just smells so good if you're more of a warm warmer person like you're not really into florals or bakeries this is perfect it smells so good to go in the bathroom so yes love that next from black magic milks this is damsel of death which is blackberry jam butter cookies and coffee bean and you guys this if you're looking for a coffee scent this is it that coffee bean is so strong but you still get that blackberry jam butter cookies in there it smells so good i would definitely pick up more of these for sure next we had this um Sample from Fantasy Wax Milks, the zucchini bread and butter brickle. Not memorable at all. I don't even know what butter brickle is, but it's also a samples, and I just need a little bit more wax than samples most of the time can give me. So, yeah. Next from Rose Girls, we have Sweet Lavender. And oh, 
this lavender scent is oh it's just everything it is a sweet lavender oh just plain sweet lavender and it smells so good you guys i definitely picked this up again but i have multiple so we're good on that next from fantasy wax melts we have zucchini bread and pistachio dream cake um honestly i bought these because people in the wax group were like they love pistachio dream cake y'all know my history with pistachio i can't smell it and it has to be me because i can't smell it no matter who i buy it from so won't be picking that up again but i think i have multiple so we'll be melting through that just to melt or i might give it away um from the pharmacist starter we have death by coffee which is coffee house sugar cookie toasted marshmallow celtic most by i remember loving this oh yes this is a nice a nice strong coffee scent with a little bit of that sweetness but if you're really looking for a good coffee scent like i do i love a good coffee scent this is amazing so i definitely would pick that back up oh my goodness this was the surprise so from black magic melts we have amaretto and dr pepper and y'all this smells so good it's called lucius and narcissus i don't want to pronounce that it was from some kind of collection um i don't know but i don't know who these people are but anyway um it smells so good like that i love a good amaretto amaretto note then the dr pepper at first i was like mm, i'm not gonna melt this in my room but i was like filming or something i don't remember but i went to melt it and i said mm, what am i melting because i couldn't even remember i went over there and it was this it smells so good i would definitely pick this up for sure it's going on the faves list next from l3 Lexi wonders we have fat bottom girls zucchini bread which is cup is, um fat bottom girls is cupcakes at tiffany stone cross stream and sweet vanilla sponge sugar this is an all-time favorite it's just like a nice zucchini bread with sweet cookie sweet notes sweet bakery notes it smells so good and that zucchini bread is amazing this is already on my faves list so yes i have multiple loads of this so we're good on that i would definitely pick that up if i didn't next we have chocolate covered strawberry at this point y'all know my vibes on samples didn't perform well for me um l3 we have amaretto cream cheese frosting and coffee beans i think i really enjoyed this yes um i really enjoyed the amaretto notes with the coffee bean it was really really nice but it wasn't a super strong coffee scent but nonetheless it was a really nice um um wax melt i will pick it up again for sure orange chiffon cake once again these samples just don't do it and it's not just fantasy wax let me just say that i normally if a, a sample performs well for me i'm shocked so there's that um so from fantasy wax milks we have zucchini bread and strawberry white cake this is an amazing scent it's oh, so good just a strawberry it smells more like strawberry than strawberry white cake and zucchini bread but i'm not mad about that at all so yes i really enjoy these but i not have multiple of those in different shapes um from rose girls we have zen which is like the perfect bathroom scent if you don't want any well i'm not gonna say anything too overpowering it depends on your nose um but it's just a perfect bathroom scent like it's not that earthy spa type scent but it gives you spa at the same time so yes i love this scent and i will pick this up every single time next we have peanut butter from fantasy wax melts i did not smell this um once again it's a sample but also i'm probably happy because i'm not a fan of peanut butter so i was really just trying to get it out of the collection i don't even i'll eat some peanut butter but normally i don't gravitate towards peanut butter even to eat so there's that from l3 we have a uh, lemon sugar fluffy towel strawberry sugar this was such a good bathroom scent that fluffy towels note and that lemon is perfect for the bathroom like i mean come on so good 
Next we have, oh, I remember this. Oh, it smelled so good. No Escape, which is Blackberry Jam, Pink Sugar, Sugar Cronuts, Palo Santo. Oh my goodness, y'all. This scent is like almost God tier. Like it's right up there. It's definitely going on the faves list. That Blackberry Jam with that Palo Santo and Pink Sugar. Oh, it's just everything you guys everything it performed so 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 well amazing love this need this again next from l3 we have grinch which is toasted pistachio vanilla buttercream and waffle cones i don't really remember i think i like this but i think i would smell like super sweet scent notes like buttercream and waffle cones but i would definitely pick it up pick it up again because of those sweet notes who doesn't love like a sweet bakery situation going on so yes enjoy that one um pretzel we from fantasy wax melts we have pretzel and maple buttercream this one did not wow me at all um the throw was not what i needed to be so i have more of those i believe but i wouldn't pick it up again oh Next, from Rose Girls, we have Strawberry Pound Cake, Summer Scoop, and Vanilla K-Pops. Um, it's called BFFs, and I remember this smelling so good. It was just like a, smell like a strawberry, like, short cake, pound cake situation. It smells so, so good. So, yes, I would definitely pick that up again. Next, um, from That Smell Good Shop, we have Fruit Loops Cut and cupcakes at Tiffany's. This scent, I remember it being having Fruit Loop scents, but it wasn't like overpowering cereal scent. I like an overpowering cereal scent, but if you don't, this one would be good. It was a customer blend, so I don't know what sure what percentages they put on there, but it was really nice. Next, we have Go the F to Sleep. From Rose Girls, which is pink sugar, lavender, sugar cookies, salty sea air, clean sheets, and mint. And once again, Rose Girls has fire bathroom scents. And you also, of course, can melt this on your way to bed. It was really like nice, calming with that um, feminine or like floral notes. Um, I don't know if you call well pink sugar to me smells perfumey let me say that perfumey with that lavender and then you get those clean sheets and mint it's just amazing it's an amazing blend so yes i would definitely pick this up again and one of my favorite scents from the pharmacist daughter ever raven cliff which is blue sugar wood sage and seed salt zucchini bread this is a god tier scent for me um I melted this in my whole entire house. Oh, that blue sugar and zucchini bread with that wood sage and sea salt is so good. Like, if you have not tried anything from the pharmacist's daughter, try this. Like, it's my fave. Like, I have multiples of these and I will keep buying it because it's just that good and I don't want to run out of it. Next from L3, we have banana nut bread, which was in a scoop oil. And this one was okay. I've had the best banana scents to me. Um, hands down, Rose Girls. Like, their banana bread carbs. Oh, my God. So good. But, yeah. So, this one's okay. Probably wouldn't get it again. But then, you never know. I might be in a spendy mood and might pick it up anyway. And, last but not least, I actually pulled this in because I ran out of bathroom scents. Yesterday, we have Monica and Chandler from Fantasy Wax Melts. It's Dolce & Gabbana light blue for men type. And it's okay. I will give it. It's just an okay scent for me. I would not pick it up again. I found that, um, like, perfume, um, like, types don't. I really don't like them. So, perfume or cologne types. Well, it just depends, but more so perfume. This one, because it's like a lighter note, it just didn't throw well. So, there's that. So, that is everything I melted through for this week. So, now we're going to get into 
our three carryovers and what I pulled for the week. And I feel like I pulled a lot, but we'll get through it because most of it is um, shot cups. So my carryovers for the week are black magic melts, French toast, maple pancakes, and glazed cinnamon donuts. So we have that. And then we have this pretzel, y'all. Amazing. From L3. And we have one more thing. I can find it. Oh, here it is. We have um, Rose Girls Lemon Glaze Jelly Donut, which is Sicilian Lemon Cookies and Jelly Donut. So, those are the three carryovers. So, let's just hop into the basket. So, first and foremost, we have Cherry Cupcakes, which is Cherry Birthday Cake Vanilla Crunch Donuts Cream Cheese Frosting. And you, as you see, I've almost had this a year. So, I've melted this scent before. I feel like this is perfect for February, Valentine's. Oh, it's such a vibe. You smell that cherry. You really get a very pungent cherry scent. So, if you don't like a strong cherry scent, I would not get this. But I love cherry scents. It's one of my favorite fruity notes, if you will. So, yeah, mostly you smell the cherry. So really excited for that one next from um black magic melts we have fun fetty which is birthday cake and fruity pebbles and i've melted this before and i feel like i really enjoyed it so let's see mm, yes it's not super pungent on cold a fruit of the cereal scent it's like a um you smell more of the birthday cake than fruity pebbles but i feel like the cereal scent will come out on warm but it's not gonna be super strong and pungent next we have um from l3 waxy wonders we have evenings in the hamptons aftershave and clementine and yes, I think I pulled this for the bathroom scent. Um, the aftershave note. I don't even know what even in the Hamptons is. But you do. Um, the aftershave, of course, smells like a manly scent. And Clementine, you get that orange citrus note. So it smells really good. So it smells like it's going to do very well for the bathroom. I pulled two. Yes. Two of Lady Whistledown from Fantasy Wax Melts. It's Lavender Marshmallow. And y'all know I love this scent. It first came out in their collection. They're like Winnie the Pooh collection. And it was called Eeyore. But she renamed it Lady Whistledown for the Bridgerton collection. And it smells so, so good. This is one of my other God tier lavender scents. I just love it so much. Then we also pulled um, two Stephanie Tanners and Rainbow Sherbert. I am honestly trying to get through this because I don't feel like these perform well at all for me. But you never know. It's been... Oh, I didn't even write it down when I got these. But it's been a minute. It was from her Full House collection. So, yeah. Um, next, we have a sample from the Pharmacist Starter called call me i don't have the scent note so mm, i'm getting mango or some sort some like mango fizzy pop situation it smells really good like a nice fruity scent so definitely gonna enjoy that one from the pharmacist's daughter we also have agape which is lemon ice cookies blueberry muffin cuppy cake cream cheese frosting I feel like I melted this mm, and I don't like the smell oh, that's terrible it's it smells like um cough syrup and if you know and if you know I have like I hate the smell of cough syrup because I was sick as a child and I was made to take cough syrup a lot like robotus and that's what it smells like but hopefully but i don't remember that smelling like that on warm so hopefully it smells different 
because I'm pretty sure I melted that before. Um, next from Rose Girls, we have Sweet Lemon Confection. Mm, it smells so good. It's just like, smells like like though that confectioner sugar like icing with a little extra lemon juice in there i hope that makes sense like ugh, like it smells like it's homemade ugh, it smells so good like ah uh, if you know bakery if you know baking and icing and stuff you know what i'm talking about it smells so good ugh. Like, I, you can melt that anywhere in the house. Um, I tend to melt lemon scents in the bathroom, but that's more of a sweeter lemon scent. So, yeah. Next for Rose Girls, we have Blueberry Cobbler. Mm. It smells like a sweet bakery blueberry scent. It smells really good. So, there's that. From... Ooh, from Planet Hannah, we have Chris, which is peppermint swirl and birthday cake. Oh. Mm, it smells just like peppermint and sweetness. That's what it smells like. Oh, I'm super excited to melt that. Um, next from L3, we have blueberry muffin, espresso, whole vanilla bean. Y'all know I had to have a coffee scent in here. Mm, that smells good. I love a good coffee scent. Um, that smells really, really nice. Um, you smell that blueberry and espresso, but this isn't like a super strong, like in your face coffee. You can tell like it's mixed with that blueberry and that vanilla. So I think it's gonna be really, really nice. And then, of course, we have Tigger, which is orange, citrus, and creamy vanilla. Y'all know, this was her original, um, ooh, this is like, like maybe a year and a half old. That's how old this is. Oh, I have more than one of these, because I was trying to pull all of my older stuff. Um, I have two of these that I'll be melting this week. So there's that. It just smells like an orange creamsicle. And it always performs well. Next, from the pharmacist starter, we have Cosmic Blueberries, which is blueberry muffin and cheesecake. And it's actually a little cupcake. The pharmacist starter has some of the cutest shapes. But yeah, that's a little cupcake. It is so, it smells just like a blueberry muffin and cheesecake. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells really divine so yes yeah, super excited for that and last but not least we have this loaf from the pharmacist starter it is a custom loaf and i named it fantasy because um i actually named it fantasy because if y'all know um this was before i bought this before she made this into a corset but she has a zucchini bread sugar cookie royale and i know when i smelled it months ago it does not smell the same, but oh, I cannot wait. This is one of my favorite scents from Fantasy Wax Melt, so we will see how it compares. But I know on cold, it does not smell the same, which is to be expected. So we will see how it compares. But yes, I have this loaf from the pharmacist starter. So, yes, guys, that is all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like my content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.